Welcome. So now we are in the kitchen and we will get to put this drink together so you can start to control those respiratory illnesses that may be happening in your house. All right. So let's not forget some of the ingredients that we got. We did get some pineapple slices because we didn't get a ripe one at that time. We have some green tea here as well. Then we have the garlic and we also have this huge chunk of ginger here. We have some turmeric and we also have honey. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep my ingredients. So I'm going to start with my ginger. Now, I don't really have to peel the ginger per se, but I do kind of like to give it a little bit, remove some of that skin. The great thing that you can use is actually a spoon. You don't really need a knife. You can just use a spoon and peel off the skin of the ginger. And I'm just gonna do a rough peel. Now ginger is absolutely great because it does contain some really good anti-inflammatory properties. It also helps with nausea. And so if you're nauseous, especially if you're having, if you're feeling ill, maybe from the flu or any kind of viral infection or anything like that, like the ones that we've been talking about, this will help to curb your nausea. Also, the good thing about this is it also helps with nausea when you're pregnant. Some people may actually eat this. A lot of the times if you're getting sushi, this is what is on there. It does have a little bit of a kick. Um, and so if you are not really into spicy food, you may want to control how much you put in there. But as far as the anti-inflammatory properties, ginger is absolutely amazing. And some of the properties will also be listed here so that you don't have to worry about figuring out you know, what exactly ginger helps with. So the spoon peels it, then you can use like you know, a little knife to peel the rest of it, but this is all you need, really. This is gonna be blended, so we don't have to do too much work to make it super duper, <laughs> we don't have to do too much work to make it super duper clean. So the next thing we have is the turmeric, and like I said, turmeric is super awesome. Um, same thing with the ginger, you can actually just use a spoon to peel that and it preserves a lot of the turmeric. Now be careful, it does stain. If you start to see, I'm starting to get the orange discoloration already on my foot. So you do have to be careful with that. Like we said, turmeric is really, really great. It helps with inflammation, helps aches and pains and the joints. So if you're looking for not a chemical, a, you know, non-medicinal, but natural remedy to arthritis, inflammation, um, a powerful antioxidant, good heart health, Turmeric is definitely something that would definitely be of great importance that you should add to your diet. Okay, see, this is it. And I had minimal loss of the turmeric itself. Now, they do come in very, very tiny pieces, so it will take a little bit of a while, but what is your health worth, right? Like, you can put in that little work to kind of get the benefits of this amazing, amazing, powerful um, plant product. And you know, it's one of the main um, ingredients in curries. So you see it has that yellow um, color as well. So just be careful, like I said, it will stain. It's part of why I'm wearing black today because I don't want it to stain everywhere and you know, get my husband all riled up. So let's get peeling. We'll peel as much as we need here and then we'll bring on the next plants into this drink. All right, so the next, look at my hand. <laughs> look how yellow it is. This is just from that turmeric that I worked on, so be very careful. A better idea, you probably should wear gloves so you don't have to deal with this, because this can stain. And especially if you're using turmeric for your skin, you wanna make sure that you're not leaving it on for too long. You can make a turmeric face to help with your skin, which helps to make it really, really glow. You wanna make sure you don't leave it too long because this can stain. So I'm interested to see how long this will last and take get taken care of. Nonetheless, let's move on to the next plant, which is garlic. It's been shown to help with heart disease, has powerful anti-aging properties as well, antioxidants help with the immune system. It also can affect the cholesterol level in a positive way in your body. So this one is something that I definitely add. Now, but because garlic has that strong, powerful smell, you don't wanna to put too much in your drink. Because, first off, the kids are not gonna drink it, and I want my kids to drink this. So, I try not to put as much. Personally, I do take garlic pills, and that does help me uh, to take the garlic intake that I need for the day. These have very, very powerful antimicrobial properties, especially even for fungus. And if you're brave enough, you can put some of it on 
the crushed uh, garlic on your foot and on your skin, you may stink and clear out a room, but it definitely has been shown to help in mild fungal infections. Now, if you have a pretty bad fungal infection, you do not want to just put this, you know, everywhere and hope that it'll help. Yeah, not really. So, what I'm just gonna do is just crush them, cut the top and the bottom of it, and we're gonna be blending all of this. Sorry about that. We're gonna be blending all of this, so there's no need to make it look pretty. You know, I'm just using the back of my knife, just like the professional chefs do it. And I am just going to trim the bottom and the top here and just peel the garlic and that'd be it. That's all I need and I'm just gonna put it in my bowl to be used in my blender mix. This is a little bit time consuming to have to prep all of this. Uh, I just used one clove and honestly, I don't have a specific measurement or recipe. All I know is what is recommended and how many of that I'm putting in. So for instance, we are supposed to take about 100 mil, uh, 1,000 milligrams of turmeric a day to be able to get the benefits. So you can take that either with, um, you know, as a pill form, or you can, you know, I usually use about, I used about, let's see, that's about 10 tubers of turmeric. I think that's how you measure it, that I used in there. So that usually is enough. Or till I start to stain my fingers, and I don't want my fingers to be any more stained. And I just say, okay, well, I think we have come to the end of the amount of turmeric that I can use. Same thing goes for ginger. I use a big, I usually just use one big um, tuber or chunk of it. And I think that's usually okay. Uh, same thing with the garlic. I just use one clove and that's it. So that's it for the ginger. Now, I think for the things that I have to peel and prep, that's as much as I need to do. Oh no, I have one more. So let's get into that. All right. so. We have done all of the heavy cutting. Now it's time for the big boy. Now you can use an entire pineapple or just a regular fresh pineapple. And like you guys noted, I did get the pineapple slices if you're in an area where you can't get pineapple but you really want to use it. Now I got the one that was in 100% pineapple juice. Some of them have syrup in it. Now, because I'm not trying to increase my sugar intake, because what we're trying to do is to be healthy and not increase our sugar. We have all these great things and ingredients that helps to reduce sugar. Why do we want to add extra? So I recommend you get one in pineapple juice that is 100% you know, pineapple juice. So I have this, but if I didn't get a right pineapple, which I later did get, um, then I would use that. But let's cut this pineapple up. So starting here, this is, hmm, could be riper. Another thing somebody told me is you can find the sweetness level for this. So let's see if I find it on here. This is from Costa Rica. I don't see anything telling me about the sweetness level. So, hmm, I'm not quite sure, but nonetheless, I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm not gonna use it. What I'm gonna use is the bark of the pineapple. And before I do that, I make sure that I wash it because this is going to be steeped in my little drink as well. So this is all clean and I'm gonna be using it. So make sure you wash your pineapple because this is gonna go in your tea. So cut your pineapple however you know how to cut it. I try to keep as much of the pineapple meat as possible. Are you like me? I can snooze forever. Like. I will snooze for an hour straight just because I don't want to forget what is it, it is that I set the alarm for. It's the craziest behavior that I have. I I have a friend, her name is Pamela. Hey, Pam Pam. She never, ever hits the snooze button. Like, who are you, chick? Like, she never does. I'm going to put my, all of this in a different bowl because they are going to be used later. All right, so. Now this, of course, you can use it for two things. You can eat it right away, but I like to blend it with all of those um, nutritional items that I cut up earlier. That's because I do want it to give it some sweetness. Again, I want my kids to eat this, so I will definitely be putting it there for them. This I do not throw away. This we don't eat it, you usually toss it, but this is gonna go in my tea because again, I want all of my bromelain. Pineapples, oh shoot. <laughs> Pineapples are the only 
fruits that contain bromelain. Bromelain, like I said, is a powerful, powerful anti-inflammatory, helps with swelling, helps with inflammation, helps with pains in your joints. So this is something I'm gonna add. It boosts your immune system and helps them fight those nasty bugs and bacteria and things like that. I'm gonna rinse this a little bit and I'll be back and put it aside to be steeping my tea later. Okay, so now we have a little helper. Here's Adeline. Hello. <laughs> That's what helped. All right, so we've cut up everything. We've rinsed everything. So first off, well, not first off, one of the things that we're going to do is the green tea. We're going to add the green tea here. So Adeline, what you're going to do is we're going to get the scissors. Let me see. Is the scissors in there? Check in the dishwasher. So we're going to get the scissors. And so we're going to get it, and we're going to have our little helper here cut open along the dotted line. So you see the dotted line right there? Yeah. So you're gonna cut it, and then, let me see, can I, oh, actually you don't need to cut it, you can just rip it. We don't really need the scissors, so you can put that aside. There are, how many bags in here? Oh, there are four bags in here, that's pretty awesome. So, so you're gonna take it, and just undo it very carefully, and put it in the pot, okay? All right, here. All right, so she's gonna work on that while I go work on something else. Okay. Oh. Right, so while she's working on that, I am going to put the things that, where is it? I am going to put all the stuff that we cut up, which is for now the ginger, the turmeric, and the garlic. And afterwards, I'm going to then put the pineapple, but these are you know, pretty big and I do want to blend them. Because this is what we're going to do. We're not going to eat this raw. Now, you can eat this raw if you're brave enough. I'm just not brave enough, okay? I definitely need them blended. And I'll just put them in. Put all of it in. Okay? So, I'm going to blend it, and I'll be back. All right. So, now we're nice and blended. I put a lot of water in it. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, it's really, really um, thick. But I just... Well, yeah. Can you get the scissors? All right, I'm just gonna put it right into everything with that green tea. And the next thing I'm gonna cut up or blend, that's okay. Actually, what you could do is just take the paper, but it was in the sterile package, so. Are you ready to drink this? No. No, I don't know. What do you mean, no? I never drink it. You're gonna drink it, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna put some pineapples in it, so it's gonna be sweet. What do you mean, we are gonna drink it now? <laughs> You, everyone's drinking it. Wait, everyone. What do you mean, everyone? You, your brother, your dad. dad yes. Duke. Duke is gonna go drink it. Duke Why is the everyone? Well, okay, every human. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go blend this, and I'll be back. Eat a little bit. All right, so now we blend it. Oh, the Eat pineapple. The All right. We're gonna put it in. Yes. Mommy's gonna put it in. Now remember I said I'm not tossing anything. All of this is gonna be strained later. So if this, don't worry about, you know, this is all gonna be strained later. I'm gonna add as much water in there as possible. So remember this. Can I get more water? Yes, actually, if you can. Careful, here. Can I use a glass cup? Wait. No, use this, rinse that, and then use it here. Okay, so I put the little big old stem in there. And I am going to put the bark in there because, again, I want all of the bromelain I can get. I want to fight as much of the bugs we have as well as boost my immune system and give them some superpowers. Putting a little bit more water in there because, again, Mommy, Mommy, why, did put, wait, why did you put the pineapple in it? Because it has something called, a, it's an, it has an enzyme called bromelain. Say bromelain. Bromelain. Bromelain helps our immune system. Hit the snooze. So bromelain helps our immune system fight bugs and it makes our immune system really strong so we won't be sick and we won't have colds or things like that, okay? Do we need to put chocolate in it? Chocolate? <laughs> We're not putting chocolate in this, but yeah. I will be putting a little bit of black pepper. And that's because the turmeric that we put in here, black pepper actually helps it absorb. And so some patients, some but people- it's gonna be spicy. Well, it's gonna have a little kick. Not spicy, but it's gonna have a little bit of a kick. You don't want to put too much pepper in there. So it's going to have a little spice in it? 
not spicy. She doesn't like spicy, so she's already anticipating her not eating, drinking this. It's not gonna be too spicy, but it's just gonna be a little, it's not spicy, it's gonna be a little kick. That's a kick, all right? Yeah, kid, me like kick, so it's like, <laughs> it's not kicking you. All right. I don't get so, it. It's just it's, it's gonna be like, ooh, there's something in here. What is that? Let's just put one. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Hold on. We're gonna put more water. That's enough. That's enough. That's not gonna be doing. Enough. See, no. this black pepper. No, that's a lot. It just helps it absorb. Don't quit talking over my drink. <laughs> <laughs> it helps it absorb. So you need the black pepper. Okay. Or if we're gonna take the pill. You want to take the one that have curcumin in it. Oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> oh. It comes down a little. She thinks me and my mom look the same. Oh, that's true. Are alike. That's true. People say that we look alike. So she says, comment down below if you think that we look alike. I don't think so. Or the, you don't think so? No. She doesn't think so. Comment down below if you think we do look alike or if we do not. All right, well, there you go. See, I think that when I was younger, like your age, we do. Yeah, we, yeah. When you are younger, we looked alike. Yeah, we oh, looked alike. So now, the good thing is you know what you're going to look like when you're my age. Yep, definitely yep. like you. Right, definitely like me. All right, we're going to add a little bit of water. Because, again, this is a tea. And I'm going to strain yeah, all of this. I know. It's so a that's, tea. we don't drink tea as kids. Well, you, no, you don't drink coffee. No. Well, you're gonna drink this one. This is a healthy tea, okay? okay? So I'm just gonna mix it all together. Mommy, is this tea called homemade tea? It is called homemade tea, absolutely. So I'm gonna mix it all together and I'm just gonna simmer it for a little bit. I just what need it to- What about this? Are you gonna put it in? I already did. I'm gonna make it into like a low simmer. Can because, I help? Well, do you have fire out of your hands or your mouth? <laughs> all right. So let's get this on the fire and get this simmering. Oh yeah. All right, so now this has been simmering and this is all we need. I am going to let this cool down. I will tell you, if you're gonna be making this in your house, the smell may not be the most pleasant. What do you think, Adeline? Yeah, she's right. I'm right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Uh, yeah, it doesn't smell. And it won't look. And what? It won't look like good eyes. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look the greatest but we're trying to heal our insides if you look in your insides it's not the greatest either right so it doesn't matter about the taste it does matter the taste matters more absolutely so we'll let this cool down it may take about an hour and then we're going to strain it and then we'll have our tea and we'll come back and show you how that is all right all right so now we have let the tea cool down what i'm going to do is strain it all going to strain it the sediments are going to settle at the bottom and most of the liquid which is really what I want is going to rise to the top since I want this to be a tea I don't need to mix it all up I could also still strain the rest of it and so that all of the chunks can go up now alternatively you may not blend all of this you could actually steep it as well you could just steep it all without blending it that will still suffice or let's say you don't have a blender but you still want to get the benefits of this tea you can just put all of it in the liquid and just steep it and then just drink that water now because i wanted to extract every single beneficial enzyme vitamin mineral and useful product out of these plants that was why i blended it and now i'm getting the maximum that i can possibly get and now i'm going to strain it um, just get the top part of it and once i'm done i may just have a hot cup of tea tonight with a little bit of honey and honey also has beautiful beautiful properties it is a better option like i said for diabetic patients as opposed to sugar now it still sweetens and it will still raise your blood sugar but if you had to choose it's a better option it's also, also great if you have coughs and things like that, it'll soothe it. It is also a very, very good um, antimicrobial that'll help your immune system to kind of fight bugs and things like that. So I do like to add honey when I feel like it. Now for the kids, I may have to add honey because they're going to have to be, I don't want to force them to drink it, but I do think it is absolutely important. That's why I make it for my family. So anyways, without further ado, let's strain this and let me show you what it's um, looks like again because of the garlic it does have a little bit of a strong smell the garlic and the turmeric together it's almost like you're making soup but it's not it's a tea so let's get into it 
So here I have a cheesecloth, and this is what I'm going to use to strain my drink because I have no one here to help me. I literally would have to do this on my own. Be very careful. This stains, so be careful. I pray for my Kevin Chocolate. There we go. Very gently. Make sure we're sitting on it, and nothing's gonna come out. Okay. Got some sense and got some gloves this time around. You can still see I'm a little yellow from earlier on, but anyways. All right, so now very carefully, I wonder if I could make better use of this cheesecloth, but I didn't want any accidents, so I used all that I had to make sure that we were totally safe. There's nothing worse than staining your countertops with this. Oh, this is beets. There's a red stain for beets and then yellow for this. Not pleasant. All right. And we have Thanksgiving coming around. You want to be able to make this so that you are completely safe after you have all those family members around. You know there's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of laughing. You want to make sure that you and your family are safe after the holidays. So you can have this drink made so that once everyone goes back home and everyone's gone, your family members and yourself can be at home and drink this. Okay. Look at all of that. We're still straining through. And if you can see how nice and thin that tea is, and I'll show you afterwards. This will help. It's coming out a little bit, but it's coming out. Hopefully I can, I don't know if I can use, reuse this cheesecloth, but I think it's a great, great method. All right, so now I'm kind of straining it, and it's all collected in this bowl. I don't want to make any messes. I'm just going to use a little spoon to scoop out a little bit and taste it. And after I was done, this is the color. It's yellow. Ooh, it's going to fall in there. All right. <laughs> all right, so this is what it looks like. Um, of course, there are some layers that'll settle after all, uh, afterwards and it'll be at the bottom. So let's see what it tastes like. So here we have it after we strained it. This is clear. I don't know if you can see. This is how the beauty people do it, right? <laughs> anyway, so this is what it looks like. Um, I haven't, I didn't stare the whole, the whole thing. Of course, when it settles, there's going to be a little bit of sediments, not sediments, but like a little bit of a thicker um, part of it at the bottom. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to taste this and see what it tastes like. Real life first time reaction just to kind of see is it spicy you know are the kids going to be able to handle it do i need to put a lot of honey in there for them to drink it let's see okay so there is just a touch of the kick and that's mainly because of the ginger and maybe a little bit uh because of the black pepper but honestly i don't need to put honey in this it is plenty sweet i'm actually going to stir it a little bit Let's see if I get something else. Because, you know, when you put it in the fridge, it's going to settle and say, my husband or myself, don't shake it before we give it to them. I wanted to taste that portion. But now that I've stirred it, let's see what this version tastes like. I really like that. The pineapple is definitely coming through. Definitely. And, you know, it's really sweet. Pineapple is really sweet. It has a lot of sugar, um, natural sugars in it. Oh, no. No, don't do that. All right. It has a lot of natural sugars in it. So... All right, let's see what this tastes like. Hold on. Ah! Trying not to stain my countertop. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. Definitely get more of the ginger coming through. It's still sweet enough that you don't need honey, but if you really need to mask all the taste and you can put the honey in there um you may even put a little bit of cinnamon which by the way cinnamon does help to reduce blood sugar so if you're a little worried about that you can put a little bit of cinnamon make it warm it'll make for a nice evening tea to kind of relax you and calm you and then give you all these great benefits not bad not bad at all now you have shot glasses at home, so definitely take a shot glass full every day, and it'll at least keep things in check. You know, I like a tea, like a little bit of it, like half a teacup. You know, feel a little bougie with it, and then drink that, and that'll kind of help. You can also drink it cold, so you can drink it warm, hot, or cold. Either way, it'd be very, very awesome. Now, if you're a little worried about the kick that the ginger is giving, then you may want to drink it a little cold because if it doesn't come through as harshly as it may come through when it's warm or when it's hot. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video. It was kind of a long one. I don't know. After editing, we'll see how long or short this was, but I enjoyed making this. Thanksgiving is coming, so you want to make this drink beforehand, and you probably want to start drinking it 
so that once people are here, your immune system already have their armor up and they're ready to fight, you know, all the respiratory illnesses that are coming on. The holiday seasons are coming up. You want to get your immune system and your body ready. Ooh, now that I drank it, I can feel like a little, not a burn, but you know like how when you drink gin or whiskey and it's that feeling that you have, it feels all nice and warm in there. So this would be perfect if you're in a cold environment and you need to drink something that warms you up and also gives you benefit. So like I said, um, try this at home. Definitely leave comments down below. It'll help fight viruses. It'll help to boost your immune system. It has, you know, things in there. It helps your cardiovascular system. So your heart, they have um, anti-inflammatory properties as well to kind of, again, help to fight inflammation, help with joints and bone health to just kind of improve everything. They have antioxidants that can help fight aging, help fight cancer, things like that. So this is a super powerful, strong, strong drink. I mean, you have these strong things in there, ginger, garlic, turmeric, bromelain. I mean, you have black pepper. These are really, really awesome ingredients. Green tea. I mean, look at the benefits, and we'll put some of them down in the caption below. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and let me know what you feel, um, how you feel about this drink. I really, really want to get your feedback. Also, share this video with your friends and family. If you enjoyed this video, would you just consider subscribing and joining our Fly for Dr. Fam? I'd really, really appreciate it. Most importantly, even if you don't subscribe, is to share this video. Share it so that people can benefit, not just you. Everyone else can benefit. Holiday season is coming up. We're going to be with a lot of friends, a lot of families. Get your immune system together so that we can get you right and ready for 2023. Till next time, it's a fly for doctors. See you later. Peace out.